Hello, in part 7 on tips on how to play hardcore, I'd like to talk to you about balancing your character skill sets. So let's go ahead and open up the skill set menu. As you can see, we can have 6 active skills and 3 passive skills. Generally what I would like to do is to have 3 offensive skills and 3 defensive skills. Let's go ahead and go into detail about the offensive skills. The overriding philosophy that I have for this is that I would want to have one skill that uses no arcane power, one skill that uses a lot of arcane power but gives me a lot of damage in return, and one skill that is very efficient at using arcane power for the damage that it returns. The first offensive skill I would recommend is Shock Pulse with the Ruin of Piercing Orb. And the reason why I would recommend this one is I think that this is the most versatile of the signature spells. Again, a signature spell does not require any arcane power. And of the three uh, offensive spells that you will have, it's definitely nice to have one that can pierce through enemies. It gives you a lot of damage potential. Your second offensive skill is your Arcane Waster. Some people like Disintegrate, some people like Meteor. For me, I personally like Arcane Orb with the Ruin of Tap the Source. And the reason why I like it is I like to be able to send off two Arcane Orbs and move or I can send off two arcane orbs and then immediately follow up with uh, my signature spell or put down a hydra and then put down uh, a bunch of fire from arcane orb it's just uh, very versatile in terms of uh, how you can use arcane orb your last offensive skill should be something that's very uh, arcane efficient it should also complement your signature spell in your arcane waster and for that I would recommend Hydra with the Ruin of Venom Hydra and the reason why I would recommend this is that it's very uh, mana efficient you can just put it down and then immediately move to your signature spell or your mana waster it lasts for a very long uh, period of time and has very good DPS output it's very easy to just go ahead and put another one down when its time limit is up Now that we're done talking about the offensive skills, let's move on to the defensive skills. And the first one I'd like to talk about is energy armor. If you are in Hell or Inferno, it's most likely going to be in your spec. That's because things hit so hard, the extra 65% increase in armor, and for this particular ruin, Prismatic, uh, the extra 40% resistance is really beneficial in keeping you alive. For the other two skills, I chose Diamond Skin with the Ruin of Crystal Shell. This basically allows me to have uh, double the damage absorbed, and it kind of acts like a 15 second uh, mana potion for me. Teleport is the last of my defensive skills, and this one is almost mandatory as well. I actually don't like how teleport works as a mechanic inside D3, but in order to get away from wallers and jailers, you, also, you really do need teleport in your skill set. And the way this works is that I would have Crystal Shell up, I would attack, and as soon as Crystal Shell uh, disappears, I can teleport, use my mirror images as a way to distract enemies for 8 seconds. As soon as those mirror images disappear, my Crystal Shell will be back up. So it's really nice to have two defensive cooldowns to be able to rotate through while fighting any champion or elite mobs. The last thing I want to talk about are the passive skills and for me I generally like to build very tanky wizards so I tend to gravitate more towards the uh, defensive passives things like blur which reduces melee damage galvanizing armor the extra life back per second is very useful for fighting against uh, dots and also when you're kiting and you're not doing any damage it's nice to be able to regen some health uh, the extra two minutes is also very useful because four minutes uh, duration is definitely a lot easier to keep your shield up. Evocation is basically there to help keep my uh, defensive cooldowns uh, as up as often as I can. There's going to be occasions in which you're pretty much going to have to use these back to back so to be able to reduce that cooldown by 15 percent that's very useful and that is my uh, guide towards uh, the skill sets that I think uh, you might want to look at. Uh, if you have any suggestions or if you want to comment on it, please do it below. Have a good day.